morning today we'll discuss still water complex montana usa the still water complex is a layered ultra basic basic intrusion in bear tooth mountains of montana in the united states it is 48 km long and has stratigraphic thickness of 6 km the emplacement of still water complex dates back 2.7 ga that is giga annum it was intruded in sub horizontal body of magma that underwent crystal settling to form layered structure which you can see in the diagram it is notable for 3 meter thick layer enriched in platinum minerals that forms a major deposit pgs you all know that is the platinum group of minerals so that is the notable for 3 meter thickness layer enriched in richness <clears throat> the still water complex is large layered intrusion with many similarities to the bushwell igneous complex of south africa if you remember i discussed in one of my videos the bushwell igneous complex so this still water complex is large intrusion with many similarities with the bushwell igneous complex the complex was intruded into existing nisic that nice or you can say the rock types in which it has intruded in the nices or nices you can say during arcane at about 2700 million years ago <coughs> the cumulate stratigraphy comprises three distinct zones means we can study as for a stratigraphic record that is a i told you that it has a stratigraphic thickness of six kilometers so that can be divided into three separate or you can say distinct zones the basal zone consists of pyroxenite norite gabbro and these together are around 2000 what you can say it is around two if you want to that is 2100 in kilometers it will be 2 kilometers around and thickness it is the so you can say that 2100 meter next is your ultramafic zone is composed of your lower pedotite member consisting of alternating dunite chromite heisenbergite bronchite pyroxenite this is the second zone you can say the ultramafic zone that has been defined and it is around 1100 meter thick so this is again the ultramafic zone is there and uh, rock types I just told you that are periodotites consisting alternate dunite, chromite, azenbergite, bronzite, pyroxenite and next zone that is the banded zone is composed of alternating norite, gabbro and anorthosite that is the zone the upper zone that is banded zone is composed of alternate norite, gabbro and anorthosite the <coughs> and it is around 4300 meter thick the chromium ore bodies are restricted to the pedotites that is chromium in the pedotites member of ultramafic zone the platinum ore bodies are located in lower part of banded zone having an average of 20 to 25 ppm platinum in addition to disseminated sulfide minerals like pyrotite, pentalandite, chalcopyrite. So as far as economic point of view, these are the different ore minerals that are there in this. The most <coughs> abundant primary minerals are your olivine, your OPX, orthromic pyroxene, clinopyroxenes, pigeonitic, plagioclasic, chrome, spinel. Uh, minor minerals are your quartz, phlogopite, 
एम्फीबोल एपेटाइट मैग्नेटाइट इलमनाइट ये लार्ज वैरायटी ऑफ सेकेंडरी मिनरल्स आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट एंड द मोस्ट अबंडेंट इज योर सर्पेंटीन एंड टैल्क मीन्स दे आर आफ्टर ओलिविन एंड योर ओ पी एक्स दैट इज ऑल्सो पायरोजिन्स देन योर जियोलाइट्स एंड जोसाइट आफ्टर प्लेजोक्लिस दीज आर ऑल्सो सेकेंडरी मिनरल्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट एंड क्लोराइट एंड एक्टिनोलाइट आफ्टर पायरोजिन द sequence we can discuss as far as because a student of english petrology you should know it once we say a rock this the cumulate minerals in that you can the bottom if you want to take it is your dunite that is your olivin right dunite you all know that is a rock which is a mono mineral rock having olivin on the mineral then above it is your peridotite peridotite is an ultramafic rock having your Fifty percent olivine and fifty percent pyroxene. So when it is a pyrotite, it is olivine plus your pyroxene. Then your know, bronzeite, it we say it is your orthorhombic pyroxenes only, OPX. Then your chromatite, naturally chromium plus minus your olivine sometimes. Then hazelbergite means olivine plus OPX. Right, these two mean that is your hazelbergite. Then troctolite, olivine plus plagioclase. I am just telling you sequentially because there is a cumulus mineral. There is a layering that is you can say the cryptic layering or phase layering. It is noticed in that. So the base from dunite, peridotite, bronzeite, chromatite, hazelbergite, troctolite. Then olivine gabbro. Once we say olivine gabbro, it means your olivine plus your Clinopyroxenes plus plagioclase. Then above your olivine gabbro is your norite. Norite means OPX plus your plagioclase. Then your gabbro norite olivine that is your plagioclase OPX CPX like this. Then above this is your anorthosite the top that is your only the plagioclase. So this is the sequence of your or you can say of minerals and according to the different rock types so it is this still water complex is your I told you the basic to ultra basic right it is in complex uh, is a layer that is the emplacement of this is was in the layer and sequential so this in the the layered complex is provide the most visible evidence of magmatic differentiation that is very interesting to understand it is that the layered complexes provide most evidence of magmatic differentiation because once the magmatic differentiation takes place naturally then there is a sequential arrangement of your or the minerals which crystallize early being denser they settle at the bottom and form one horizon of minerals and that is your your rock type so what we have to understand from these layered complexes that is the understand the magmatic differentiation the crypting layering or phase layering is the noteworthy feature noticed in the still water complex crypting layering means you can say mineralogically as well as chemically there is a segregation separation or differentiation that has been noticed the still water complex is one of the world's great layered mafic intrusion distinguished not so much by its size as by the fact that it is tilted on its sides and erosion has exposed crypting layering so this still water complex is noteworthy or you can say is known that because of the erosion that crypting layering has been exposed so this differentiation process means once that you all know that what is differentiation just to refresh you that the different rocks are formed from common uniform homogeneous that put said the basaltic magma so different rock types are formed how that takes you must be you studied that the bowman reaction principle different minerals crystallize in order of their melting points or say <coughs> at the highest temperature amongst the mafic it is the olivine that is formed and with lowering temperature pyroxene amphibole mica similarly amongst the <coughs> felsic minerals it is the anorthite that is formed at the highest temperature 
and we're lowering temperature then it comes to the albite and ultimately to merge into their potash their cancer orthoclase and ultimately last minute is quartz so with lowering temperature or with the can say the cooling of the magma different minerals are formed and these minerals are found being of the denser having high specific gravity they settle and they form different layers so this has been very well studied in this your still water complex because that there is tilted and erosion due to erosion it is that the cryptic layering has been exposed so this is all that from these intrusions or in these layered intrusions or basic ultra basic or what you have to understand in the concept in igneous petrology of the differentiation so with this i think it will help you or it will make you understand what the differentiation is and the early minerals that crystallize they form a rock type a different rock type and with you can say with with pass with time the different layers are formed sequentially right so the last layer that is there in this is that is the orthoside that rock type and orthoside means the plagioclase first part this means the total that fraction crystallization has taken and the the different minerals that are formed they have settled according to their densities and this is this sequence is been noticed but i have just said earlier also the different means once again i repeat you at the bottom we have the dunite then the peridotite then the hazenbergite troctolite then the gabbro norite and ultimately on the side so such sequence will be naturally noticed where there has been differentiation and found in form of your layering on the, the cryptic layer is well exposed in this still water complex of mondana thank you that's all for today thank you